Every culture plays dominoes, but here we call them bones. Y'all play with the double six. Here, it's the big six, and I'm gonna kick your ass. You play the game by matching the ends of the dominoes together. And when they equal in multiples of five, that's when you score. But call that shit out. The first to 150 points wins the game and is crowned the Bones champ. Welcome to Throwing Bones. Bring it to the table, let me show you how to win This is for my players from the barbecues to the pit We came to have a good time, plus we love the tricks Homie thought he had me, then I hit him with a double six Throwing bones, we not playing with your man when we throwing bones It's insane in this game when we throwing bones Throwing bones, throwing bones, yeah I am extremely excited about this episode because this just feel like some bay shit to me. The legend, too short. You know, when I grew up in Saginaw hearing your music, you know, but then to get drafted to the bay, like, that shit hit even different. <laughs> <laughs> so it's an honor to have you here on the show. We're gonna officially let you say the town. The town. Cause, cause we both from Oakland, so. You right. <laughs> Excuse me. The town. Okay. This some town shit. Town <laughs> business. You know what I'm saying? Now, 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 now I'm good. Cheers, 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 cheers to that. 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 Okay. There we go. <laughs> the legend C. Gray. I, obviously, I got to know you at Olympics, and the shit was dope as hell getting to know you. But it was also a lot of ass kicking. <laughs> Y'all got domino history. And, and, and I, oh my God, I'm okay. talking about she go whole day without a win. It's incredible. <laughs> I mean, I, that just, I, if we I, did like one game, so don't let him do like, oh, like oh, out here just oh, KOing oh, people. Day. What was that first moment like, all right, I'm in the bag? Man, who are you taking me back? <laughs> My first moment, like, damn, this shit is different, was like going to the club. You hear some shit come on, and like, if, oh, you, if you don't know the, the bass, music. you know what I'm saying? You'll hear some shit. And everybody in there going crazy, and I'm just standing there like, <laughs> what's up? You know, like, where, like where, where am I? You that know? beat drop. <laughs> and it's just come on, everybody like doing their fucking dance. This one finger? <laughs> Absolutely. That's so you can't touch them, man. You one of us got to go first. I'm waiting. Hey, does five get you on? This is 10 to get on. 10 to get in. You know? That's the same, right? Yeah. OK. Cool. If you want that five. Every game is 10 to yeah, get on. I'm 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> I got to get a huh. A huh. Shit, shit. You it's in there early. I don't want you in there that long. Sure, when you first got into the game, when you talking rap, like everybody shit get popping at the crib normally before they shit start branching out. Uh huh. You in the town and your shit get going like that. That shit had to give you another confidence. Put me on the board. That's the first 10. I didn't really have that, you know, the dream and then you make it and then you blow up. I was famous. And I was, I was still riding the bus. Everybody around the bay was bumping Too Short and Freddie B. And I'm literally like, you know, catching the bus, selling my tapes, going to school. And this nigga's riding by and clean ass cars bumping me. <laughs> oh, not. Oh. Whatever. <laughs> I'm sitting there in the rain. Nigga like, short dog. Yeah, I'm right by. <laughs> <laughs> That's dope. <laughs> so, you know, mine was, uh, it, it was a little different, man. It's different when you're famous and broke. That's a, that's a weird feeling. Okay. I feel that. Because oh, speaking of money, let me get my 20. It's good math. Yeah, it's by him. Keep it official. Yeah. It's going to be a problem. I, I don't have no money on the board, so I can't get what's in your hand. Yeah, that's very true. Hey, you ain't know when he knocked, you got to do it. Yeah, I was trying to get stuff out of my hand. I was playing a little selfie. Let me see that. OK. Ugh, that's big. Great. You know, everybody from the town think they can play dominoes. <laughs> you don't want to bowl against me, you don't want to shoot pool against me, and you don't want to play dominoes with me. 15. Oh, this is going to get dangerous, y'all. Go ahead, give me some money. There you go. Ooh. 15. Ooh. Let me get 15, please. I'm about to stop feeding you. Assist, that's what I do. Go out with 15 and everything y'all got to. Y'all nigga, we play back man. What the fuck that mean? The person who give you domino, that's where you get the points. New rules. House rules. All money ain't good money. Give me a little short change. Oh, Give me a little short change. 
Short, if you had your own Mount Rushmore in the rap Ooh-wee. game, who would that be? Shit. People always do the top fives and all that shit based on skills. Mm-hmm. I'm basing mine on something different. Give me that, 10. What's yours based on? Longevity. Okay. I have respect. I don't know, man. I like the careers like Fat Joe, E-40, you know what I'm saying? The Nas's and fucking uh, Jay-Z. And you know, when you just, when, they, when a motherfucker just don't go away. Yeah. Give me a nickel. We see people come in, get in all the time, and shine. Yes. But boy, do they go away really fast. Absolutely. And it's so many obstacles to get you kicked out the game. So it's respect, you know what I'm saying? Have you ever tried to like rap your way or do something to get, you know, from from lower income to upper income? And then you get you go from the projects to this fucking nice ass house, and they be like, do it again. <laughs> like, how the fuck can I do it again? I'm getting my dick sucked every day. I can't focus. <laughs> you feel me? And that's where you get me the domino. Now give me y'all coins. You, you only get the one behind you. Uh-huh. Chels, do you think the NIL, what they're doing with college athletes, do you think that will change women's sports? I think it will, but I also think it's like the top of the top is going to get that stuff. But I go in back and forth with it as a whole. Like, it takes away, I feel like, the amateurism of playing in college basketball. Absolutely. They like up NCAAs, universities, they make a lot of fucking money. Of I think it will help these kids, but... <clears throat> Like, what's, what's differentiating from the pro athlete now? 15. Mm-hmm. How about that? That was beautiful, too. Watch. Bring me. Bring me. You get 10. 15. I get it. 27. Give me another nickel, man. You just nick him all the way. Yeah. Just keep nicking. That ain't gonna keep you in it, though. Cause motherfucker with a razor blade long way. I know you. I know where you're going. Come on. Don't Bring worry me. about where I'm going. Bring me right here. I don't give a fuck what you think you gonna put down, but you're gonna oh, change your okay. mind. Okay, that's fine. You're gonna change my change. Flip your dominoes. You, all right. So I'll give you my opinion on that. The NIL. I actually think it's incredible. And here's why. Everybody, put me over there. Everybody speaks on mental health dominoes. What the fuck? Needed to get that out of there. Uh, I'll, I'll take okay. that 10. Lucky you didn't uh, get that. Mm-hmm. I put a little spin on it right there. So I think everyone speaks on mental health, right? I think mental health is, is more at the forefront today than it's ever been. But when you think of what everyone is speaking, think about it from a sports standpoint. For a lot of us, that ends up making it. And this kind of goes back to what we were talking about earlier. You on TV. Everybody now think, like, damn, you just doing well because they see you on TV. You also made it out, but you don't necessarily feel like you made it out. Why? Because you're still fucking broke. And so, yes, I'm at Mission State. I don't have a dime to my fucking name. That can mentally fuck someone up. I know there is a way for me to make money, but I'm not allowed to make money. Like, for instance, I was back at Michigan State this weekend, and United Wholesale Mortgage Company, they signed NIL deals with every Michigan State basketball, football, I think women's basketball player for $500 a month. Do you know how far $500 in college could have stretched for me? Yeah. That $500 is actually almost breaking a generational curse. There are some people, families, that don't bring that into Michigan and you're getting the $500 extra a month. I think when you say that, like $500 a month to certain people or certain universities, I think there's gotta be more companies that do that and not just target the top two players that's gonna be in the draft. I think that's when it's a little bit more positive. Yeah, I think it's great. Very fucking happy for these kids to see them and they being able to make money. Like, you think that people, these different. kids gonna be hungry to get a championship because they're getting their money? 10. Just FYI, I need 20 for game. All the money they make off y'all, and then nowadays could do like a rapper or something, go yeah. make money off different platforms and shit, and or get YouTube hits or whatever and just get earn some money. But I feel like you should be able to put your money in a trust fund that you get later. You don't, they don't gotta let a college student get rich right away. But if, he, if his name is getting rich, if his jersey is selling, if he is at a school that's making a lot of money, if he is, motherfucker. Damn. Is it over yet? I need five for game. Well, we know what happened. 
<laughs> Don't do that. I'm just saying. Where anybody watch it. We just watch you feed this man like Thanksgiving dinner and Christmas and his birthday. <laughs> Whatever, short. You need a switch? You need a switch to sit right here? I bet you if I play that scene, he won't, he won't, he won't score like that. No doubt. It's no doubt. You see what he did to you? That's crazy. No, he's nah, going man. to you, not me. That's game. It really is. Bring it to the table. Let me show you how to win. For that shit, we gotta switch seats. Here, you wanna see here? Let me, let me, let me know. Let me see what the fuck you're gonna do over here. Let's do it. All right. Listen, if you score ten points, I'm, I'm on your ass. Well, Notice. Actually, I'm about to Notice eat. they arguing. Hey, got them going. One fifty to eighty-five to fifty. You got fifty points. That's one That's house. Go. <laughs> Put me on first. All right, well, I ain't had no choice. <laughs> you don't talk nothing? The window is definitely open. Mm, that's beautiful. Thank oh. you. I'll do that, 15. Sure. How is it getting that love from the town? But then you, you realize, as an artist, they fuck with your shit worldwide. The planet kind of shrinks when you start traveling around. You look and you get to Japan and all yeah, over Europe. And, all over Canada and South America, and they know you. Like, what the fuck? The first time I ever went on tour, I might be pulling a lot of dominoes here. The first time I ever, oh wait, I mean, the first time I ever went on tour, I was just happy to, to be in like Two. fucking Nashville and Detroit and. Cleveland, and you know, just hitting mm -hmm. new cities. The curtain is going up, and they screaming and shit. And I'm like, fuck, look, sold out crowds. But yeah, when you get on that plane and fly 14 hours, and they know you, that's different. That's I remember different. my first time going overseas. Mm -hmm. I went to Spain for a little bit, and then I went to Turkey. I went to the club in Turkey, live, by the way. I heard <laughs> Turkey is a movie. All of a sudden, they said, <laughs> and I said, yo, <laughs> I'm in Turkey and I'm like live and everybody looking at me like, what, what are you doing? What am I doing? <laughs> oh, he live now. <laughs> I was cool the rest of the trip. <laughs> See, Gracie, you you played overseas throughout throughout your career. How, how does it differ over there? The money is overseas. It's been overseas for a long period of time. We're now trying to make it way to, to get that money in, in, in the league. Um, you get a lot of love out there. Like they treat you like royalty, but Honestly, it's a job going over that money. You away from your family, friends, like people play in some rural areas. Like yeah. going in Russia and you only see you only see the life for three hours, five hours of the day. That's tough. Yeah. We're trying to make headway now to be able to stay home in the off season, but you know, it's a blessing as as well, cause be able to travel the world and meet so many people. I have some good friends that's from different areas. You're done. You're done. <laughs> Dumb. Once again, you don't even see what that is. Dang! You don't need to see. Ooh, Ooh I'll take that 20. Oh, oh you get it along the way where you get a poster signed by the big labels? Um, not really. I was uh, doing my thing, and we were making a lot, a lot of money, and we really didn't care about labels. And I guess somewhere along the line, Jive Records called me. Talking to the team, you know, it, it was, uh, it was a decision to be made, like, do we want to make this money regionally and just kind of hit this little corner we hit? It's, it's hard on the independent, man, when you, like, start doing big numbers. It's, it's a hard hustle because you got so much money out there and all these fucking uh, distributors, mm -hmm. a lot of them motherfuckers, they're going to be as shady as you let them be. Yeah. And they got a million tactics on how to short you on your money. And it's, it's, real, it's some real gangster shit. Is it my turn? Yeah. By the time they came to me and said, hey, we need another album, I had already recorded it. Fucking everything, the artwork, everything, same day. And I did that shit to them for like, probably like the first five albums, man. Take the album. So, <laughs> even when I was Funny. on the major label, I was still had the independent spirit. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, guys, can we, can we tap in Cuzzo real quick? Yeah. We in the middle of taping, man. What up, Ryan? <laughs> What up, P? <laughs> I'm trying to, he tried to switch seats with me because he said I was giving Dre too many points, but I think he lying on me. He lying on my name. Who <laughs> five while we had it? <laughs> I'm only giving him, I'm only giving him five. He ain't Who really is this you're talking to? It's, a, it's, it's a, my cousin. 
up? What's up? What up, Daddy? You, you from the town, too? Of course. I'll kick your ass, too. <laughs> I'll hit you back, bro. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> it's back on me again? No. Yeah. Yeah, it's on you. Give me a nigga, Nick. See, all I'm giving him is a nick. A razor blade hurt. If you keep cutting somebody with a razor blade, they will, they will bleed a lot. God damn it. Mm-mm. They will bleed. How, how? Get the hell out of here. Take your diamond now. <laughs> how do you feel about, like, the new guys coming in the league? I think the NBA is a very copycat league. You know what I'm saying? And so because it was you as us, like, oh, man, Steph Curry shoot the shit out the ball. Clay, like, Clay Thompson shoot the shit out the ball. Do you see how they shooting the ball? People's eyes is like, oh, you have to shoot threes in order to beat them. You know, and, and so the game copies that. And then you see these young kids come in, and it's like Steph is like they MJ. You know, like everybody want to shoot the long three. You walk in the gym, you see little kids fucking swinging that thing from like <laughs> 40 feet out. Just, uh, and it's that's like, crazy. But, but that's the Steph Curry and Klay Thompson effect. You know, and so that's how the league goes. I agree. Now you're seeing in our league, like you're seeing a lot more mobile fours. Like it's not a big like post up. Mm -hmm. Like, game, you need back to the basket. Like, the game is constantly mm -hmm. evolving, whether you're in hip hop, whether you're in sports, like the involvement and the growth. What about dominoes? <laughs> that ain't on me. But my turn, because I was about to score. I'm like, is this game evolving? You, you was on detail uh, with Kobe, I, as you saw when, you know, we know what happened. I don't even want to speak on it. We all have that moment of like, Damn, it's Kobe talking about me, or it's Kobe talking to me, you know? And playing with the Sparks, obviously he bring Gigi to the games and all of that. Did you ever receive any advice from Kobe? Man, listen, he'll spit a line to you. Let me get five. He'll spit a line to you, and it feel like it'll change your whole month, change your whole year. I went to his camp um, for the, it was like a few months before his passing a month or so before his passing, and I was, he was just like, you always gotta evolve your game. Like, they could take this away, but you gotta counter for everything. Mm -hmm. And like, a counter for everything is like legit. He wanted to be the best all the time, and I think that kind of just stuck with me. Like, a counter to be the best, like if somebody stopped you this way, like, you had it already in mind what you was gonna do. Mm -hmm. He just thought, so differently, and to be featured on detail, like he paid attention to my game, just talks to you like, oh shit, he, Kobe know my game? <laughs> he know I'm about to pull up right there? All right. <laughs> so just being a part of that and those conversations, like to this day, I can't delete a message from him. Yeah. It's, it, it's, it's crazy, and it'll be the smallest thing was two text messages. Can't delete it. And a little advice, and then. Nickel. I can definitely relate to that. Short. What do you think about the evolution of rap and where the game has gone? So, ten of them. I'm always about a good song, man. And let me get you, let me get your domino. I ain't had no choice. I could stop. Got ten down. on them joints, right? Score is sixty. The goal fifty-six. Call no, yourself. I'm sorry. Call I'm sorry. yourself yeah, the score fifty. <laughs> a, good, a good song is more important to me than a good rapper. Always has been. And as I get 10 points. It's 60. <laughs> Everybody got 60. And I'm going to tell no you something. Ain't no fun if we all can't have some. I'm going to tell you something historically in hip hop. That every era in this hip hop, it's been a whole bunch of wackness. <laughs> it's been a whole bunch of greatness. Uh, give me a nickel. And fucking, um, you know, everybody's the expert on everything now and shit, so it's like, we sitting there bashing, I don't like this, I don't like that. Oh, you fuck them OGs, man, fuck them youngsters, all that shit. Man, it ain't easy. We trying to discount certain people in hip hop, and I'm saying you can't discount skills, you can't discount technique, and I heard Future say something, he was like, man, we, he like, I ain't really trying to make records with all these words and shit, and you like the word place, like, I'm trying to give you a vibe. Mm -hmm. And when he said that, I'm like, damn, I, I really do get a vibe when I listen to you, Absolutely. bro. Absolutely. So it's like, <laughs> you're doing what you, you are doing what you meant to do. So mm -hmm. I fuck with it, man. And I just, I, I really, I'm not into the uh, generational differences. I just think, who knows how to get in that room, in that booth, and make something hot. That's a hell of a perspective. Oh. Uh. Uh. Nick, ain't looking like much of a difference. 
See, no matter. Oh, shit. Got lucky. Don't send you to the yard. Got lucky. This is beautiful. What is it? Velvet? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Help me out there, Dre. Sis me. Five. It's hard to be the best of the best, man. Absolutely. Oh! Bruh. It don't matter, because if you domino, you ain't getting none of this money right here. I know, and I'm about to. I got about 50 points in my hand. Give me what you got. Look at that. Look at that. See, Greg, give me your top five NBA basketball players of all times. Don't give me no eyes, too many. Nope. There is too many. Give me that nickel. What they say, short? Nick. Nicky. All right, all right. MJ. I'm going to go with Magic as the one. Magic the GOAT. Magic Johnson. The GOAT. It's my Spartan dog. I respect it. You're trying to get Michigan shit on you. Look at him excited. That's Look at him. <laughs> That's, That's like. Fine. <laughs> Got you. That's cold. All right, I'm going to go Kobe, Jordan. KD, I'm going to go K. I'm going to go Shaq. And Bron right there, though. Ooh, on a different, on a, on a, on a Monday, I might say Bron. Respect. It's hard. What you got for me? MJ, Bron. Yeah, I got to go with Bron. MJ, Bron, Kobe. By the way, I don't get off into naming people who, like, it's not my era. Like, Will Chamberlain. Like, I didn't see Will Chamberlain play. I can't speak on like, oh, I agree that with that statement. Magic and Steph. Oh, Steph. Confidence. Can't wait New to leader. Shot, New leader. 90, 85, 75. Chelsea, I need your top five WNBA player. All right. Me? Say less. Me? As it should be. Me, I gotta keep myself out of it. Never know. No, you don't. Not at all. If I keep myself out, I'm gonna go Sue, DT, Candace. I'm gonna get 10 while I think about this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Maya is, Maya is a beast. She is. I'm gonna go Maya. And then I'm gonna go with, uh, I'm gonna go with Yolanda Griffin. That's me. Through and through. What about Thanksgiving dinner? Let me <laughs> Everybody got 95. So Get over there. <laughs> well, give me that five then. Nickel. Copy that. God damn it. There you go. Come oh, on, five. This is a thing of beauty. <laughs> what you got? <laughs> give me yeah. something. Give me something. Oh, you ain't score. That week at six. Hit, race to the finish line. You know enough WNBA players to give you a top five? No shade. You want me to name the WNBA players I dated? <laughs> <laughs> you can go back, short. You got a top five? My top five is whoever was on the starting team of the 2015 Golden State Warriors. That part, for all you fucking haters. I mean, I'm top five, goddamn. That was, that was a hate, <laughs> man. That was a hate in that season. Talk your quick. shit, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm top five. Let me get a nigga. That season was solid as fuck, and the, the press wasn't there. They was downplaying it the whole way. Mm -hmm. I just, right. I like, not that that was just my team. I just like that that, that team proved that shit, you know? Yeah, I respect that. That's 10. The GOAT got 120, C Gray 115. Short, you stuck on 100. Oh, this is beautiful. I mean, this is the just money grab. Beautiful. This is beautiful. Nickel. Oh, this is beautiful. This is phone. beautiful. I'm about to get some money out of here. This is beautiful. Damn. Yeah, tell me more. I'm listening. I help you win later. Uh, no chance. You don't know what I got. I'm in this boneyard though. I'm about to <clears> win. <throat> here you go. Damn. Damn. This is ridiculous. We believe. She know what to play. I mean. If I said I gave you advice, I said count. All right, go. I know it's by you, but not me, Domino. That's, you did the right thing. I knew that. So I was about to count my seven. God, like that. I was going to win. I was going to yeah, win. If you let me go. That. Score is 125 pulled, to 115 to 110. All right, let me finish this. If you pulled that three or that blank, well, it's 
see what happens now. Yeah? This game? No. Not at all, actually. This shit's disgusting. Ah. Ah. That's a good play. That's a really good play. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, that's a good play. Ain't nothing like chilling, Come playing on. some dominoes. Bring me. Yeah. Here we go. Come on now. There you go. At what point did do y'all feel like you picked up a strategy throwing bones? Cause I, for me personally, I still feel like I think I love this game so much. Cause today, like I'm, I still learn, like constantly, okay. always learning. Um, honestly, like when we was playing in, in Tokyo, mm -hmm. I was like, I got, I got, I got to freshen up on my strategy. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. You heard it. You Go. gotta have a different oh, technique man. for everybody you play, man. You gotta. That's why. That's why I said one game ain't really gonna tell a story. You sit here and you learn somebody's like mm -hmm. temperaments and their little style, and you, you kind of uh, it's like poker a little bit. You start reading their body language when they're frustrated. I know how a person's gonna play after you know them for a while. You know, one of the goals of this show in, in doing this is obviously I love dominoes, but when you think of when you think of our community and how you can help, how we can continue to give back. I actually think like some of the best domino players are in prison mm -hmm. or have done time. Mm -hmm. And when you start talking about like reintegrating them into to society, what are you good at? What are, what are your skills? What are your trade? Dominoes mm -hmm. is actually something that, they, that they're good at. The hope is to one day create this to where it is like a World Series of Poker and it's dominoes because I think that's an avenue for not only those coming from the black community, but those coming out of prison to re-enter into society and know I am damn good at this thing and I can go chase a dream, possibly build maybe one day wealth. Mm -hmm. I really do feel like there are some professionals out there. I have played mm -hmm. domino players that it's like they're magicians or something. Like, how the fuck Absolutely. are you this Really good? dissecting this shit. Like, like you dissect anything else. Domino, what you got for me? Oh, that's 10. And I would that's 20. Oh, yeah. I need five points per game. Don't matter who's sitting in front of me. You're open for the three. Let me assist. It don't matter who's sitting in front but of no, me. Kind of what? <laughs> now, all we got to do is pull a five. It's over with. He don't get five. I hope you get five. I can't pull five points, bro. <laughs> I'm fine. Score is 145, 120, 115. Which means this game is pretty much over. This game is pretty much over. She doing all she can to try to race and catch up. <laughs> Just by, yeah, oh, that was the worst thing. Oh. It's high score again. They ain't going nowhere. <laughs> uh, <laughs> saw me, Ray. Hey, Ray. Y'all, you got one. Nah, I got five. I got five, Ray. <laughs> Another five. You can't stop me. It all comes back to this. No chance. Bring it to the table. Let me show you how to win. This is for my players. Okay. The to the pitch. First, we second. gonna have a good time. But That's gay. At least I made it a good game. Then I oh eat him with a good game. Throwing bones. We not playing with your man when we throwing bones. It's insane in this game when we throwing bones. <laughs> throwing bones. You see? Throwing bones. Yeah. How come, how come his name is short and mine is student? Because he ain't asked for nothing but short. You want to be the god. Like, oh, you, you can put C gray. I was going to. All right, put C gray, but going from C gray to student? I mean, I was. Then you talking about you the god, so. That, that tickled you up. You got 50 points. That's one That's house. Cool. Happy with I would rather have the lowest score. I ain't happy with my life. Don't do me. Uh, I would rather have the lowest score than be the one who fed the, the, the big guy. Y'all heard him arguing. This is a thing of beauty. This is a thing of beauty. I'm just talking shit, but it's true. I love that you said that about the generations. Because if there's one thing I get pissed off about, 
is when people get to talking this generational shit in basketball. So I think like eras of basketball is different. You know, you get to like, oh, well, this guy couldn't have played in that era. That's crazy. That guy could like that shit don't fucking matter. Like it does not matter. What is he doing in this era? That's his era. That's all that fucking matters. Exactly. I respect that.